everything I have in my life has come somehow through the ocean. It's my church. It's the place where I go for peace, and, and it's and it's my my teacher. My kids are this. That's their backyard. You know, I think when they are adults, um, their memories will be mostly of spending time at the beach, the exploration, the freedom that you have. There's a sense, there's a real freedom uh, at the beach and in the water. You take care of your house that you live in, and and you know we make our bed and we clean our cars and we do all this stuff, but yet we neglect sort of the place that really provides us with the greatest form of sustainability, which is which is the ocean. This is actually an oil flow. This isn't an oil spill. This is a, it's continuing right now as I speak to pump out millions of gallons and, and has been and will continue to for who knows how long right now because it seems that no one knows what to do. They know how to make a hole in the bottom of the ocean but they don't know how to plug it. And uh, that's scary. We have to be very careful about the areas that we open up to offshore drilling. As we undertake these types of activities that can have such dramatic impacts on our coasts and oceans, we proceed with real caution and an honest evaluation of, of what it can mean for our economy and our environment. You know, you see dead fish and then you start to see clumps of of the oil and you see all these birds, some are you know covered in oil, some are not, and the dolphins swimming around. And I think the other side of it is you realize these dolphins are swimming in this very toxic water. Any animal that it goes up to the surface of water, that rests on the water, or feeds in the surface of water, is gonna encounter either the oil slick, the fresh oil slick itself, or the chemically dispersed and weathered oil. Now, a lot of the animals that are getting harmed by the oil are getting harmed actually by because they're getting coated, not necessarily from the toxicity, but the you know the coating and the covering of oil on their feathers or their gills is a huge problem for them. Being sad is the first emotion, but then after that, be active, participate. Try to encourage the people who are out there trying to enforce better policy and make people accountable. You know, go to nrdc.org and find out where you can donate money to help support you know, back legislation, back voting, uh, stop drilling, make tougher restrictions, just never let this happen again, never allow it to happen again.